Hey everybody, Brandon here from IDEL Hockey, joined with Dan Rich, who is the manager of product development for Sherwood Hockey. Uh, Dan, thanks for joining us once again today. Good to be with you, man. Good to be here too. And so we've got your brand new Rucker Element series of gloves in front of us today. Uh, before we get started with the huge improvement this year that you guys have done, how would you describe the fit profile of the Element line compared to your uh, code line? Well, uh, the the Wrecker family is a, uh, while code was very much an anatomical fit, um, the Wrecker element is a little bit more of a taper fit, if you will, a little wider up to, uh, up through the uh, forearm, if you will, and uh, a little bit tr more traditional in through the back of the hand. Um, what we're finding now with glove designs is that there's a lot of mixing between. You have the four-roll traditional, but after that, everything kind of blends itself in. So while we have our anatomical side on code and our tapered side on uh, Wrecker, we do find that those actually are well suited for the player. It really comes down to fit and preference. And you know the glove that you like when you try it on the wall first time or try it in the store. Um, you probably know the glove you don't like right off the bat. So for us, we wanted to make sure we were addressing as many different types of player um, right off the bat. So I would say tapered is the safe statement, um, but again, it's really uh, player preference and having that game ready feel as soon as they try it on, which is what we were going for. Right on. I mean, let's get started with the element one. There is uh, a huge protection boost this year compared to uh, in the past, which is your Viconic impact protection. For somebody who has no idea what that is, uh, could you explain what it is and how it benefits the player? Well, we've been, we're very, very excited actually to uh, introduce Viconic to our uh, protective, uh, not just in glove, but we'll be uh, have it in our uh, shin, shoulder, and elbow at the Element One series as well. So um, we looked at a number of different materials when we were designing uh, and, and looking for a third party technology, if you will, in our protective series. And in looking at all of these various different foams uh, and laminates, if you will, um, we came across this product, Viconic, um, that was off the charts as far as its ability to disperse impact. And those uh, sharp spikes that you see in an accelerometer in, in impact measurements, we wanted to be able to alleviate that to try and avoid injury. So how could we go lightweight, not add any bulk to a product, and give us the maximum form of impact dispersion possible. And we found that Viconic really gave us that. And then we determined where are we gonna put it on the glove. And I kept studying back and forth, looking at various gloves in the industry, and we looked at various add-ons that players and, and at the pro level where uh, equipment managers were adding shot blockers, if you will, to gloves and taking away from the aesthetic appeal of a glove in many cases and doing that. And what we wanted to do is keep that aesthetic appeal. So we determined that the best shot blocker on a glove is an internal shot blocker. And Viconic, with a full sheet of Viconic in through the back of the hand, has given us that ability to create the best protective glove that Sherwood has ever offered. With significant, we're talking double digit improvements over impact dispersion uh, compared to the traditional foams that we've been using in the past. That's amazing. And uh, I mean, it's sometimes hard to find a shot blocker in general out there, um, you know, block post up gloves. But I mean, to get this at a retail value is incredible. Yeah, and what we found sometimes is that the, the visual appeal of a shot blocker on the back of a glove takes away from the actual aesthetics of the product. So we wanted to make sure that we weren't doing that. The, the, the Element One gives us the best of all worlds from a performance standpoint. We talked about Viconic in through the back of the hand, adding a fourth or fifth layer, if you will, because you have both the PE inserts throughout the entire back of hand and in through the thumb ward area, um, giving it that impact dispersion of the first level. Then you've got triple layer density foam laminated throughout all the fingers and through back of hand and thumb ward area. And that gives you that varying level of impact protection then the full Viconic sheet that runs through the back of the hand. 
and obviously the soft foam acting in the liner. So it really gives you what we would call five layers of protection, but again, adding no bulk or weight whatsoever. So that Viconic material is used in the automotive industry. It's used in military applications to help disperse impact. And we figured if they're gonna use it at those high impacts in life-threatening situations, then we would be well served to use it in our hockey application as well. So um, we're super excited to be able to introduce it in our RE in our Wrecker Element One glove for this year. Well, like you mentioned, you, you managed to keep it lightweight and flexible um, as well. I mean, it has, still has a broken right out of the box feel. So um, huge, huge, awesome uh, protection package. Get to see that. Another big story that you guys have is this cuff. Uh, we have saw a little bit of a taste of it with the code uh, last year, but you guys did a really good job of improving um, an amazing cuff design already. So uh, walk us through what you guys have done there. Well, I, if you're familiar with our Sherwood line over the last number of years, the CIP or customizable impact protection has been a really, really big focus for us. We realize that not every player is built the same. Not every player plays the same game. And while you and I may wear a 14 inch glove, um, our arm length and our relationship between elbow pad and glove may not be the same. So we've created an adjustment system in the element one that allows you to actually take your cup and put it in a fixed position that really can create, and I know it might be tough to tell on camera, but you can take an element one by adjusting the CIP cup and make it a, almost a 13 inch length and almost a 15 inch length simply by adjusting the depth of extending the cup. Right now, without it snapped into its position, it's a free floating and there are two additional adjustments that allow you to lock it in place uh, in a number of different positions within the cup. So you can drop it all the way down nice and deep or extend it all the way into its upward position, really creating a customizable integration between your elbow pad and your glove position. And those guys with those big long arms may want to have it free flowing and have it extend as high as it can. And then you may want to drop it down for a player like me with shorter arms so that it doesn't create an overlap or too much of a, a restriction, if you will, between elbow pad and, uh, and glove cuff. So we're pretty excited about being able to have that. It's kind of a set it once and go, if you will. But if you chose to adjust or if you needed to uh, play around with it by getting a new pair of elbow pads, then certainly you're able to make that change at any time. Absolutely love it. Sherwood has really, have, has really done, done a good job of spoken to every individual out there, um, allowing them to really customize their fit. Let's move on to the line, um, I mean the palm. A uh, ton of durability and it looks like a ton of uh, great stick feel. So what, uh, what's going on with the palm? Brandon, I mentioned earlier that you know the glove you won't buy pretty much as soon as you try it on on the wall, but you also do know the glove that you really do like when you put it on right away. And that's having that game ready feel. So we've had a ton of success. A couple of years ago, we introduced AX Suede as our palm material of choice in our top level gloves. We find that it has the best abrasion and moisture management ratio or relationship, if you will. And it makes it game ready right, right out of the box. Um, so that's awesome. We've added some really nice new textural features with a reinforcement patch in through the palm so that the, the knob or the butt end of your stick doesn't wear through that abrasion area. Um, we've added some interesting grip features in through the fingertips and uh, a very nice emboss feature in through here calling out the AX suede. The other nice feature that we've added in the palm this year is a venting area in through the baby and ring finger. Um, this is something that we've borrowed from a couple of other industries, um, looking at the way to actually help expel some of that moisture and that heat that generates inside the glove. And we put it in an area that does not affect the overall grip strength or grip feel along the shaft of the stick. Um, and it allows that mesh venting to basically manage that moisture management or that heat buildup inside the glove to help keep your palms dry throughout the game is the goal. Now I'm assuming that it's going to work hand in hand with your COPR 29 liner. So somebody who doesn't know uh, what this liner is all about, could you uh, explain that for them? Well, there are a number of different ways to try and help, especially in this day and age of the importance of 
of hygiene and uh, and managing um, you know the potential of bacterial uh, infection. So there are ways to put in an antibacterial in a glove liner, and in many cases it's simply a spray additive. But over time that breaks down, and over time wears off. Um, COPR twenty nine is actually made with copper fibers uh, in the thread. And copper has a natural antimicrobial agent. Um, in the 1900s and 1800s, surgical tools were actually made of copper because they resisted the growth of bacteria on them. Um, by using copper thread in the COPR29 lining material, it automatically eliminates the opportunity for that bacteria that bacteria to grow, and uh, ultimately that's what creates Thinky Hockey Gloves, is that bacteria over time. So the Copper R29, the true benefit to it is it never washes out. It's copper, fa copper material in the thread that is always acting for your glove. It never washes out, it never diminishes, and therefore you've got an antimicrobial or an antibacterial agent in your gloves for the life of your glove. Well, I can't tell you how many times in years past I've thrown out a glove because it, it smelled worse than the durability part of it, you know. Uh, so that's, <laughs> I'm sure, sure that's awesome to see. We're making hockey moms happy. Yes. Uh, let's move on to the, uh, the uh, Element Pro. So, uh, I mean, a ton of value here um, still for that elite level player. So somebody's looking for that pro level protection, but at that affordable price point. So let's start with that protection package, uh, what we got going on here. So the difference between the Pro and the uh, uh, Element 1, if you will, is this would be more along the lines of where our traditional hockey gloves have been manufactured in the past. Mm -hmm. Our triple layer, triple density layer protection package, which has been very successful. Our PE inserts, very successful. The NHL styling with more uh, reduced number of logo hits. So not a super busy glove. Uh, that flared Sherwood cuff, we've gone with a floating cuff here as opposed to the adjustability. Uh, we still have the COPR29 lining. We still have the adjustable, sorry, the, uh, the flexible thumb, if you will. And then we've gone to more traditional pro preferred palm in going with that Clarino palm. And we still offer the mesh venting, if you will, to again, help with that heat management system. Also the uh, embossed feature for a little bit more grip enhancement, but a single layer palm for increased feel. This allows us to offer a glove that is kind of that pro preference right off the bat. Um, it comes in at an incredible value relative to the Element 1, but gives you what we feel is all of the protection features you would expect from a performance glove um, without the cost. So we're super happy this will be a really popular item amongst the number of uh, our teams and associations that will be going with the Element Pro this year um, from a cost and protective balance that you have to work with. Awesome. And then we've got two more gloves. we got the two and the four. So, uh, you know, these are probably perfect for that competitive, uh, that competitive player who's looking for, you know, an overall um, – you know, a good package of durability, protection, and price. So let's start with the two. Uh, what are some key features? And the two actually has a nice material mix going with the P, uh, PU accent, sorry, in through the uh, index and middle finger and in through the back of hand. So it gives it a really nice accent. Um, this actually has an antimicrobial treatment, so you're not getting the copper R29 lining, but again, the uh, element call out of the coloration inside the glove and you're also getting that pro flex thumb as well which generally at price points in here tends to fall away um, we have a uh, a traditional nash palm with a reinforced patch in through the wear area and a call out sherwood logo in through the palm as well features and benefits wise this is actually a uh, a really nice um you know, feature-laden glove that operates at a great price point, giving you multi-density protection in through the back of the hand, a flex palm, and a reinforced, a flex thumb and a reinforced palm. So we're really happy with the way this glove turned out. The overall fit profile of the RE2 would be a slightly larger or a wider taper, if you will, compared to 
the pro and the element one. And that's just to try and approach a broader market, if you will, um, and a more affordable market uh, within this price. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, that taper because, I mean, you're getting full risk mobility. Absolutely. That's the key. And then when you move to the four, which is our price fighter offering, if you will, um, again, a uh, antimicrobial treatment on the lining material uh, and uh, a single density protection package that gives you, uh, you know, a really clean aesthetic, a good looking glove that follows the family of the rest of the element family, um, and some nice logo treatments, if you will, or graphic treatments on the palm with a single layer local mash palm. So uh, again, a real price fighter, um, but giving a glove that for the entry level player or the true recreational player, um, whether they're playing inline hockey, ice hockey, or even ball hockey, this is a glove that actually will meet their needs at a very affordable uh, price point. Absolutely. Yep. Well, Dan, thank you so much for uh, walking us through the new Element line. That's my pleasure. We're super excited uh, and can't say enough about the performance levels of Iconic at that top level. So I really look forward to uh, getting consumer feedback on our gloves. Thanks very much. You're welcome. And for you guys at home, if you guys want to grab yourself a pair of any of, any of these new Element gloves, you can head over to icewarehouse.com.